Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. I'm getting um, some tender annuals planted today. Um, beautiful sunny day, so they'll all need a damn good watering when they go in. Um, yeah, so let's crack on with that. Right, we've got some um, butternut squash here. And this is a, a Waltham butternut. You can see I've got some stakes in the ground. And what I'm gonna do, they're very hungry plants, so first of all, I'm gonna give them a bit of feed before he even starts, so a bit of blood fish and bone. Shouldn't really need to do this with no dig, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then with the plants, what I'm gonna do is just plant it in the hole, but I'm angling it because I want the plant to trail, it's a vining plant, and I want the plant to trail off in that direction. These stakes around the plants, what I'll do is, as this vines off, it'll go around this stake and I'll train it to go all the way around it. All the vines that come off it will go all the way around it and that will just keep it contained in an area because these can grow anywhere between 20, 30 foot long. Very quickly, if you've got three plants in like I'm putting in here, they can get out of control, be all over your paths, in amongst all your other veg. So I'm just angling it down and they'll go around these four canes. It might be difficult for it to turn this corner. If it is, I will just move it on to the next stake and then get it to come around and then train it from there with the new, newer, fresher growth. Now, wherever the vine goes, every time you get a leaf, you get another little junction and I think that might even be a fruit there. So you get more leaves and more vines growing out and essentially it's a mini me of the plant. So probably get anywhere up to about six or eight fruits off each plant and as long as that you've ripened them, as long as they've you know ripened in the sunshine or if you don't get a chance to do them, you know, if the weather turns, you can ripen them on a greenhouse bench. Uh, then they'll store all winter and you can eat them through the winter. Great thing to have in, in storage. Right, I'm getting some pepper plants in here now. And these done, have done really well. They had a really, really poor season, start to the season. And they were sat in the, in the greenhouse at home, looking all small, lost and forlorn. And to be honest with you, they, they look like the worst peppers I'd ever grown. But now you look at this, it's exactly the same plants and I've even got fruit on before I've planted them. Um, so yeah, I'm fairly ecstatic with that because I did look around early in the year. You, get, you start to get all these emails from various companies offering you grafted plant this, grafted plant that. And I bought some grafted aubergines and later, I didn't bother with the peppers because I had some growing. Later when I realised how bad they were, I tried to get hold of some. Couldn't get hold of them for love and money. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, and this is Pepper California Wonder. So I'm really pleased how they turned out and say they were looking awful. You look back on my earlier videos and you'll see just how bad they did look. But keeping them potted on, keeping them fed, keeping them watered, bit of TLC, and uh, they, you know, they've come good. And I put plenty of feed in underneath them, blood fish and bone, and I've got this wire mesh up on line pins, just to tie them into when they start to get a little bit bigger or heavier, they'll get tied in in here. And I'm doing them in twos because the sun comes, comes up over that way, and it comes around all the way around. So here is prime position, they'll get sun all day, and hopefully it'll do better than last year when they were in the other polytunnel. But, you know, we'll see as usual. But I'm putting four in this little area here. And uh, with the mesh either side of them, I'll be able to walk up this little path that I'm kneeling in now and be able to get to them easier. I'll give you an all-over view. 
so you can see the whole situation when I finish putting up this last bit of mesh. So they just need all they need now is uh, keeping moist, keep them watered, and they should do all right. I may give them a liquid feed a bit later on, see how they're going. That all depends on how the plant looks. And there we go. A bit more of this square mesh. So these are the ends of my little pathways off the main pathway through the tunnel and I've got these line pins holding these mesh up and these peppers will be tied in to each of these on either side but I can just walk up this path and easily get to them, do some weeding, feeding or um, some side shooting or whatever I need to do with them you know and it's the same on that side exactly the same the sun comes up over in this direction over on the left I don't know what you can see on camera that way over that way over there <laughs> comes up left of picture goes all the way round and finishes up over there so they're in prime position to get plenty of sun um, they got sun in the a small polytunnel last year but that small polytunnel is green plastic um, so we'll just see if this makes a difference um, over last year plants are at about the same stage as they were this time last year but they're a bit further on because I'm potting them and planting them up, planting them late. This spare plant I'll put somewhere else and I think I'll put a courgette in there. Um, yeah, I'll put a courgette in there and see how that does undercover. And at the end of this uh, tomato structure I built just the other day, I'm gonna be putting a cucumber in here and this is Beth Alpha, it's an indoor variety and cucumbers only go sort of six to eight inches long which is perfect for the two of us to pick one fresh, take it home and have it in salad. Again, plenty of feed in it, it's cucurbit. That's the family name they're from. Same family as squashes, pumpkins, uh, courgettes cucumbers they're all the same family and they're all heavy feeders all we just need to do is just take out these side shoots when they get a bit bigger and let that grow up I'll train that up there now the front post is where I'm putting this last pepper and these hot weather plants like tomatoes the peppers, aubergines, cucumbers. They need heat, they're, they're heat loving plants. And what I want to try with this one, and I'm using this as a bit of a test. This is now pretty much the nearest plant to the front door of this polytunnel. And the front door is open every single day of the year. So, Although the majority of the time it will be in here in heat, it will get very good ventilation and it might be too cool for it or it might not be, it might work the other way and I might discover that they prefer lots of ventilation but this will be a sure marker of that. So again it's another suck it and see test, see what happens. I need to put it somewhere anyway, might as well be there. Okay, we're now at the other end of the polytunnel and at the far end of the tomato bed, two spare canes here. And this is no dig here. And it's not a very deep no dig bed, but still, it's what I'm treating as no dig. And 
we'll see how these do. No feed for these. Again, these are the Beth Alpha. So small cucumbers. And we shall treat them the same as the others apart from feeding them. And see how they perform down here. Looks like a fennel that. <laughs> right. So there we go. There's those done. <laughs> so that's it for this one. I've got plenty of tender stuff out. There's still plenty to go uh, in the ground yet. And tomorrow my mate's back down and we're doing a bit more work on the polytunnel. And hopefully by the end of tomorrow we'll be ready to sheet it. And we'll be able to get that done later this week. We've both got quite busy commitments this week. So... Um, yeah, I can't be down here as much as I would prefer to be this week. But anyway, you know, we'll move on with that. And once the tunnel's up, a lot of the stuff that's still in there to go can be planted out. And I'll probably be able to fill that. <laughs> I'll probably be able to fill that tunnel anyway. But, you know, that's for another day and another video. But that's it for this one. Look after yourselves, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. See you very soon. Tirana.